It sounds like we got dog on the line. Dog, can you hear us? Yeah, what's up? Hey, congratulations. A little bit of a reverse sweep there for you. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, those are kind of crazy games. Yeah, those, those games were wild. Now, the thing I want to ask is, all right, coming into this match, you had lost two straight matches, and then you were down 0-2 in this match alone. How did you gather yourself to win three straight? Because you had to be feeling a ton of pressure. Uh, I don't really ever, like, you should just be playing your best all the time, so the score shouldn't really matter or affect how you play. I mean, yeah, the, the score shouldn't really be a factor in how you play, so. So just no pressure you feel going yeah. into any game whatsoever. Just, down, just downplaying the reverse <laughs> sweep. I like it. All right, so talk to us about the first two games. Nyria kind of came out with some crazy strategies, I think, to say the least, and even kind of continued that in games four and five. I'm sorry, in games three and four, he played Iron Juggernaut, both of you, against Times. Walk us through this series and sort of your thoughts in the game to game. Um, yeah, so basically he had, like, a lot of, like, small chances to just win on the spot. Like the Iron Juggernaut, he had like a one out of seven. The, the Ragnaros, he had a one in four. So he had a lot of like weird little changes, but he kept like queuing up Warrior and he kept like just changing which variation it was. I'm surprised he didn't play Patron at all. Like I was I was really shocked that it wasn't Patron. Like I just died on turn seven because he had like a perfect hand with Emperor with like Charge Warg and I was just like, well, like I lose the game. Like couldn't really do much about it. But uh, it was interesting. I, I don't really like bringing that many weird decks. Like, he brought a weird version of a deck, like, three times, and it was the same class. So I don't really like doing that. Uh, but, I mean, it worked, I guess, the first two matches. With him queuing up Warrior so much, I'm actually a little bit surprised you didn't choose to go with Druid. You seem to continue to shy away from this strategy. <laughs> when are we going to see you play more Druid? Um, well, okay, I was going to pick it the last game, but I was scared he would just queue his Druid again, because that was the one he won with the first round. So I was like, oh, like, if he queues Druid, it'll be Druid be Druid, and that like, gives me, like, a 50% to win. And I was like, well, if I queue, like, um, Hybrid Hunter, it's, like, okay against Warrior. It's, like, probably better than 50%, I would say. So I was like, I'll just take that matchup, and if he queues Druid, I'll have a really favorable matchup. Um, so I, I chose that. I don't, I don't know. I'll probably play Druid, like, randomly. I don't really like to just have a set plan going in. It changes with like the matchups that I get and the match, like the scoring kind of, yeah. Uh, going back to what you said just a little bit before this, you know, he queued up Warrior over and over again, but it was different variants. Does that put pressure on you in any way of like how you play? Does it make you approach the game differently when you're not sure exactly what deck he's playing? I am very familiar with the, like the, that's the thing about Hearthstone. You have to know every single deck and every single variation. That way you know how to play against it and you know how it's like, like, for instance, I could stop a lethal somehow by, um, by like, taunting up two creatures as opposed to one. And I know that that class can't get through two creatures at once. I know they can only get through one. So you have to know every version of every deck. That way you know, like, how to counter it. But I knew, like, Raging Morgan really well. I knew Patron really well. And I knew Control Warrior very well. The fact that he threw in an Iron Juggernaut doesn't really change the fact that it's still Control Warrior. So, uh, yeah, I, I was comfortable playing against most of those decks. It was just kind of annoying trying to figure out which one to switch. Well, very diligent uh, practice that we've seen from you. Uh, you know, you mentioned that you maybe not practice a little bit more, but you played three games at once when you were practicing. Congratulations on your sixth win tonight in HPL. You continue to put up a big winning record. Yeah, thanks.